Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, Kate Welch talking with John Harper. All right. So, uh, so this morning I got up and uh, you know grabbed my phone and uh, just went on to John Harper's Twitter. Right. So uh, the reason why is I like to I like to start my day by reading John Harper's Twitter, and the reason why is on John Harper's Twitter you can find inspiration, joy, and wisdom. Right. So I'm sorry. I should I should explain my terms here. So John Harper is the author of Blades in the Dark. Blades in the Dark was one of the top tabletop role playing games of 2017. John Harper is a titan within the in, independent, the indie tabletop role playing game design community. Uh, he stands shoulder to shoulder with, um, well, yeah, and I think he's he knows these people and frequently talks with. Fred Hicks of Evil Hack Games, uh, who actually published uh, Blades in the Dark. Um, Dungeon Worlds, Adam Cobell and Sage Latora. Uh, he, he, you know, he is compatriots with like men like Robin Laws, right? Uh, game designers like Robin Laws, um, who created the gumshoe system. Uh, he knows Luke Crane, who, uh, who created um, Mouse Guard and Burning Wheel. Right, so John Harper is, you know, he is uh, a really key individual within the indie tabletop role-playing game scene. Right, so I go over and I um, and uh, Kate Welch is the brand new, panoptically heralded Dungeons and Dragons A Team game designer. She was recently hired on to the Dungeons and Dragons uh, design team. Okay. So I just did a video recently saying that I believe Kate Welch will be the lead designer on Dungeons & Dragons 6th edition. And the reason why I'm doing this video today is I'm very, very excited that I think there are already clues, you know, continuing bits of evidence that support this theory, okay? And this is a big one. This is a very big one, right? So, okay, so I go on to John Harper's Twitter and he's, he's sitting at a booth at a, a, a restaurant, you know, and he pu- he publicly posted this picture, uh, and um, and in the in the uh, in the booth, there's a woman who's on Twitter and seems to care a lot about cats. I, I read her her Twitter feed, but you know, probably 20, 40, 50 down, you know, into her Twitter feed, but just seemed to be a lot about cats. So, John, I'm like, okay, you know, that's cool. Uh, John Harper's friends with someone who cares deeply about cats. That's fun. Uh, and then in the corner of the picture, the, not in the corner, but like right next to the cat, the, the lady who has a lot of cats, uh, or has one cat and takes a lot of pictures of it, one or the other. Um, I'm really not sure who this other lady was. Uh, there, there's Kate Welch. So the person who is like going to be, you know, walking in Wizards of the Coast every day to help, to, you know, to uh, to serve as a, a top game designer on the best tabletop role, role playing game in the world, the, you know, the father of all tabletop role playing games is just sitting down for, you know, for a meal with John Harper. Like that's not coincidence people like that is okay. So here's, here's why this makes me really, really excited. One, I'm excited because in my opinion, Kate Welch is going to work, man. She is stacking the cordwood now. Right. And if you're, if you're a game designer for Dungeons and Dragons, in my opinion, okay, so basically, 5th edition is baked. That cake is done. It's been pulled out of the oven, right? It's getting cut up and consumed right now. Now, the thing is, what's the next cake? That's that's the thing, right? And so I really feel like the real energy and the real passion and the real excitement all rests with 6th edition, okay? And I think what's happening right now is I think Kate Welch is being brought into the team and I think there, you know, there's some mentoring that's going to happen. Uh, I think she needs to learn a lot of the things that Mike Morales knows, a lot of the things that Chris Perkins knows, um, in order to ready her to be the lead designer for Sixth Edition. And you know, and I think there were people that questioned whether she was the right pick. Well, I have no, there's no question in my my mind that she was the right pick because she is hanging with the right people, right? Like if you, if you are in a position where you could be the lead designer for sixth edition and one of your first, uh, you know, 100 days 
This is her first in 100 days, right? She is laying the foundation for what she's going to use to build Dungeons and Dragons up. And in my opinion, what she's going to use to build Dungeons and Dragons sixth edition. And that is relationships with innovators, right? And John Harper is an innovator, right? And so like he, there's no iteration here, right? I don't, that's my, and I guess that's one of my bigger points with this, with this, uh, this video is that I really think uh, Kate Welch is, is an innovator. She was brought in for innovation. She wasn't brought in for iteration. Like that, that's just it is, uh, there's, re there's really like, actually, I think any, you know, almost any work you do on fifth edition just makes it worse. Right. And the reason why is we've already seen from Pathfinder that more source, bo source books make tabletop role playing games worse. Right. So the reality is fifth edition is solid as granite. It is just such a great game and it's baked. That cake is done, man. It's, it's out of the oven. Right. And so at this point, um, it's all about sixth edition in my opinion. And what you're seeing are foundational years for sixth edition. And, uh, and that's very exciting to me. I'm really excited about that. There is a possibility that they're going to go a different direction with, with the newest edition of Dungeons and Dragons. And it really might be like I had talked about, uh, kind of a Dungeons and Dragons accelerated, a 50 page rule book for Dungeons and Dragons that comes straight from, uh, that would be very, very much like Fate Accelerated, a free 50 page rule book that you can use to run virtually any, uh, any setting. And, um, you know, that's, that's really, uh, that's what you're talking about here. You know, that, that's the, that's the key aspect. And, uh, it's, it's just really, really exciting to me what's happening with, uh, with Kate Welch's hire. And so, you know, I was, I was really fascinated by the hiring of Kate Welch. Um, it was a really interesting pick. She comes from Penny Arcade. Penny Arcade is an absolute beast in conventions. They, they, they're just like, they do conventions better than almost anybody in the nation now. I was at PAX uh, Unplugged this year and it was just an amazing event. And so I, I really think, uh, you know, Kate, well, Kate Welch is a very exciting hire. Uh, and, you know, and I think we all had a sense of that. But now, you know, seeing just days after uh, the announcement of her as the new game designer for Dungeons and Dragons and one of her first choices to have, you know, sit down and have dinner with John Harper. That's like somebody who, who just got a job working at the electric plant and sits down to have dinner with Tesla. Right? <laughs> like, <laughs> and so, you know, so, you know, I think one of two things happened in that meeting. They talked a lot about game design and, and that's exciting because like, you know, there would be ideas that could go directly into Dungeons and Dragons that come from uh, John Harper's amazing games, you know, Lady Blackbird and all these really, really cool, you know, uh, games. Or they didn't talk at all about tabletop role playing games, which would be even better. And the reason why is, you know, there's there. I think there could be a day, you know, like we who care about Dungeons and Dragons. Right. Uh, one of the coolest things in fifth edition is advantage. Right. You roll 2d20. And you get to keep the top, uh, you know, the highest of those rolls. Or disadvantage, where you roll 2d20 and you keep the lowest. This is a huge, you know, game-changing uh, parameter within Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, you know. And there's going to be a day where, you know, the decision on, on how to fundamentally change the game for 6th edition comes up. And, you know, oh, guess what? John Harper's right on the line. You know, you can, you've already got an established relationship where you can say, hey, let's get together over coffee and just kind of talk through, uh, you know, this, this hard design decision I have. You know, and, and so I think that's really exciting. I, I really, really, I'm just getting more and more excited about Kate Welch being on the team, the direction of Dungeons and Dragons, the idea that Dungeons and Dragons, uh, the staff seems to be more and more in, infatuated and I would even say open and welcoming of indie game design design ideas and uh, the only thing that I hope is like uh, the indie one of the things that's interesting about indie game designers is and you see this in hip-hop right there's a point where you're indie and then your ideas start to catch and they catch on so much and you get so much respect and so much heralding right that you become that you know you used to be the outsider and now you're the insider right and so that's so one of the things too is i hope is that the you know the indie people that pay, they're paying attention to gets even broader right so right now one of the people I, I i don't think is on the map 
for the WotC team is the creator of the Index Card RPG, and uh, I hope that creator gets circled in as well, and some of those ideas start to show up in um, in tabletop role playing games in in in, in uh, tabletop role playing games. There's just so many things that Kate Welch being on the team brings about. There's a good possibility that um, you know. You could see work from Emily Care Boss show up in in a in a, a pure Dungeons and Dragons product soon. Um, you know, there's just there's a lot. You know, uh, uh, Anna Creeder, right? Uh, a lot of these names, where before I don't think they were on the map so much for for Wizards of the Coast products. Now I feel like you could write the list, you know, of of who's really going to impact Dungeons and Dragons uh, in the years in in the months and the years to come. You know, Jason Morningstar, I would not be surprised to see his name, you know, on Dungeons and Dragons products soon, you know. It's really fascinating. It's really, really fascinating. So I was very excited to see that. Take care.